Ladies and gentlemen, if you're in between the ages of 13 to 21 years old, this is gonna be the most valuable video you're gonna watch today. Because you're at a point in life where you have the freedom to pick and choose your hobbies and to invest a lot of time in them. Hobbies are so important. They give you a sense of purpose, they make you look more attractive, and will give you a more meaningful life. That's why in this video, I'll be sharing a list of the best hobbies to learn this year. If you're new here, my name is Colin and I'm a computer science student at Yale University. Growing up, I tried a bunch of different hobbies, from painting, to playing the piano, to programming, to rapping, doing sports, and even cooking. And what I can tell you is that having hobbies can make the biggest difference in your life. It makes life more fun. You can learn a lot of skills that generate lots of money, and you can also make great friends who make life more enjoyable. So I believe that every man needs three hobbies. You need a physical one, a cerebral one, and a creative one. So the first type of hobby you need is a physical one. I'm talking about lifting, martial arts, and team sports. Having a physical hobby is extremely important because not only can you build a great physique, but you also train your mind and you also build that sense of discipline. So the first physical hobby that's at the top of this list is going to the gym or weightlifting. Just imagine you're built like a Chad. Let's say you're looking like Christian Bale from American Psycho or Brad Pitt from Fight Club. Imagine how you will feel with that movie star body. Well, you know what? You don't have to dream because it's completely achievable. And of course, everyone starts from different points. You might be skinny fat right now, or maybe you need to do a little bit of bulking like me. But the point is going to the gym and lifting is probably one of the easiest ways to glow up and become more attractive. It's one of the best ways to build muscle fast and get lean. I personally go to the gym three times a week and it's really fun to see your body evolving. It's really fun to see yourself getting stronger each time. Now the second physical hobby that I would recommend is boxing or any form of martial arts. As a man, you don't wanna just look aesthetic, but you also wanna have that strength. You also wanna have that flexibility and agility. You you also want to be able to protect those around you. So I would highly recommend learning any form of martial arts. Now personally, I've just started learning some kickboxing, but you can also do Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu. Now another great physical hobby that you can learn is tennis and golf. In my personal opinion, these two sports just look really aesthetic and it's honestly just good for your cardio as well. Also, any form of team sports like basketball or soccer can be really fun too, especially if you're playing with some of your friends. So commit to a physical hobby and your life will significantly improve. You'll look better, become more healthy, and also much more mentally sharp. Now the second type of hobby that you need is a cerebral hobby. So I'm talking about everything from chess to programming to reading. These are the types of hobbies that will increase your knowledge, help you be more productive, and increase your ability to make lots of money. So one of my favorite cerebral hobbies is reading books. I've probably read over 100 different books on psychology, business, philosophy, and productivity. And it's honestly been one of the best investments I've made in my life. Especially at a young age, if you're reading a book every one to two weeks, you're learning a lot and absorbing that information like a sponge. Also, reading is very affordable. Maybe it's like 10 to $20, but that knowledge can be priceless. I personally do reading in my night routine for 10 to 15 minutes before bed but you can also just start with five minutes a day. Now the second cerebral hobby that you can learn is programming. Programming is one of the highest income skills that you can possibly learn today because code is a great form of leverage. And there's so many free resources where you can learn programming online from YouTube to Harvard CS50 course, which I personally took. Also any hobbies around tech, finance, AI, or startups are really great because we're approaching a new digital economy. Finally, I would highly recommend learning how to write. And when I talk about writing, I'm not just talking about writing books, although that's also great. You can also write in the form of tweets. You can write in the form of Instagram threads, or you can write blog posts. Guys, writing is one of the most underrated and attractive skill that you can have. So commit to one cerebral hobby. Maybe you wanna start with reading books, or maybe you wanna start writing to build a personal audience online. Whatever it is, dedicate 10 minutes a day to it. If you invest some time every single day into learning and improving your craft, over time, one day, you guys will become a master at it. The final type of hobby you need is a creative hobby. This is personally one of my favorite hobbies to have. So I'm talking about music, art, film, dance, and design. Also, if you think about it, writing and programming could actually fit in this category. So the reason why having a creative hobby is so important is because it allows you to innovate things to help other people. It allows you to become more creative, to find your own authentic style. So one of the best creative hobbies, in my personal opinion, is film and content creation. Making YouTube videos, guys, is a form of art. You have everything from the thumbnail design, which requires graphic design, 
and Photoshop. You also have everything from the lighting of your background shot and your style of background music, let's say. Recently, I also picked up a point and shoot film camera and I'm really excited to try it. But there's just so many different possibilities when it comes to documenting your life, when it comes to the world of film. Now, another great creative hobby to have is music or art. Personally, I've been playing the piano for over 10 years now and it's honestly been one of the best experiences of my life. From playing classical music on the piano, to pop music, to jazz, it's just so, so fulfilling. Also, design and art in general is such a great hobby to have. I started off with painting abstract art as a kid on canvas. But skills like architecture or Photoshop or digital design is such a great creative hobby to have. And finally, if you love food like me, being good at cooking or biohacking is always something that's useful and rewarding. So how do you invest in your hobbies? Whenever you have one hour of free time or you know what, even 30 minutes in between classes, that's when you wanna invest it in your hobbies. And slowly try to make that a routine. Try new hobbies and invest time in the ones that you absolutely enjoy doing. Also, don't forget to keep that self-education, whether that be learning on YouTube, how to build an aesthetic physique and how to eat right. Or maybe that's just hiring a personal trainer for boxing or hiring a teacher for piano. The more you learn and gain knowledge in a certain field from an expert, the faster you'll be able to gain that mastery. And once you have mastery in some skills and hobbies, that's where life becomes a life worth living. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys got lots of value from it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to be part of the family. God bless the hustle. We're all gonna win one day and I'll see you in the next one.